adese mai ma mi mo munyina akwa ade ba kantuno tv so sene kantuno tv ya she mobo sa be na be nyina nsem bi ya di kanedi tie no kantuno tv ya ma ma so si ya den sa no ba betuma no sa pepe na ye no na na otwe wi enso e ko pii mo e wo kotoka international airport ni nyina ne se juma die bi e ko so ho a na enya asem keto akra e ye rani onyamfo e fe no daniel makole ai twene tie e fe no magdan e di juma die bi she so ni nya ne se na olanche ne private jet e wo kotoka international airport ho a e twetwe atitru abrempon ne ade she ne aban mu panifo bebre na be pii mo ho omo mo gana na fe omo mo amono ni nyina de omo no onyam e beta juma die na chi ma ne nyina ye fe ni nya ne se obo ase ne be ya ewiemu she adwuma no so e betimi agane na so comment so timi akofom na bra juma die na ekoso no atitu na bempon omo de omo no nya beta juma die na se no kantuna tv ye ne emu so e bi edi nkomo na se na omo to ye nim okay well i think it's a wonderful initiative um first in this in it, um in this country and i think they will open up the sub region Ghana to the sub region for corporate and uh, business um people to have a more reliable air, airline um service that's what i actually think about it and it's like we should actually commend mr macaulay for the initiative because had he not done this All right so um, today there's the launch of the Magdan Aviation private jet services and um, I came to support. Um, I am excited about one thing. I think the biggest issue in this <laughs> country <laughs> over the past <laughs> maybe 20 years has to do with jobs and this new terminal is going to help create jobs especially for the youth we saw some ladies and some guys in suits at least for now they have some job that they're going to do the first thing is to be to act with integrity you can't work in a business and be in code stealing assets from the company, I mean, not showing a job at the right time, not being disciplined. When you behave like that, you run the business down. So discipline is very important, acting with integrity, being truthful and being committed, showing up at the workplace on the right time, not giving funny excuses. These are things that you do to push a business. And when the business grows, you, the worker, you also grow. Very important. Thank you. Well, I'd like to say that um, I'm very excited about the prospect of a Ghanaian controlling such an industry and very much so because this is someone who is not a fly-by-night entrepreneur he has been in this industry of cargo and haulage for the last almost 30 years and this man has been dealing with ships and planes almost all his life and we are happy to get the fact that he's establishing another outlet for jobs he's establishing another outlet for Ghanaians to patronize their own local success stories and entrepreneurs. This would also help to expand the economy in terms of bringing money in rather than taking money out, which of course will go in line with the president's work that he says we should all have a Ghana without aid, i.e. a Ghana with foreign exchange. So I'm very excited about the prospects for uh, Mr. Daniel Macaulay, who owns the Magdan Group. Uh, we pray that more Ghanaians will bring more of such industries into the country so that we can compete with the best in West Africa, the best in the world, and then we can even take things bigger than they have. Um, you can see from the kind of jet um, private lounge that we have here that he really means business. And I think that businessmen who before were hiring planes from abroad will be doing that from Ghana instead, even from other West African countries as well. I must say that I'm very excited about what is going on today and I pray that it becomes the most successful as well. And so why you we in so no yeni or nyam for I fell on Daniel Macole Ay Magdano so Edin Comona say on also edit in central for opportunity to thank all of you. Um me oh you are done. I can when never gentle over share Oshpon uh Baba Kwa B said. Madam Obishi, oh you are done. Thank you very much. I appreciate your presence here. Uh, captains of industry, 
I welcome all of you and I want to thank you very much for supporting me uh, in this uh, uh, on this day. Um, I, be, I, I believe you all know me and you don't know what I can do and what I'm doing. As humble as I come before you, my nature is to find opportunities. My nature is to build Ghana. My presence here is to make a difference. My presence is to make a very big impact. I mean, we are in an industry that we can be captains of the industry. It is about time we take our own country into our own hands and drive the vision of this country into the next generation. It's about time we work and break our back to be able to make sure that our children are disciplined and work with integrity. Um, I picked this industry. I've been 30 years in uh, aviation and shipping, and I believe that uh, opportunity comes, but it's whoever, they said the, uh, the first bed catches the word. My goal as an individual is to put my country as a brand to be recognized in the world. My goal as an individual is to build what I can build for my country. Magdan Aviation is not for Magdan. It's for the business community and top class executive. And this is the only place we will be recognized in the entire business community in the introduction of the continental free trade that we all see what we think is impossible. Now, private jets it's no more a luxury. A lot of people think it's a luxury. Private jet is no more a luxury. And this is what McDan Aviation is bringing to the doorstep of the diplomatic corps, the politicians, and the business community as a whole. I, I am standing here tonight a bit surprise. At the same time, I have a lot of joy in my heart because what everybody thought is impossible. We have made it possible. I have a very strong team who have supported me. Ghana Airport Company has really supported me. Civil Aviation have supported me. Madam Boshisai, when he saw the vision, that private jet operation in Ghana will be a thing to go in the next world with the introduction of new businesses coming into the continent. I say thanks to all of you. We, we're sitting here tonight to our door. What, even if you go to New York, London, Nowhere in Europe I have seen a private jet to this standard. And I think we have to appreciate what we have on our own soil. I want to thank all of you for coming tonight. I don't have much to say, but I just want you to understand that we must have the can-do spirit. We must have the can-do spirit, no matter how difficult the terrain is, we have to do it. We have to defy all hearts and do it because this is our country and we have to stand up for what is good. So I'm calling on all the business community to look within. We cannot be investing outside this country where there are a lot of opportunity here. And I believe that this current government is a business government and will support is supporting us and will support us to make a very big difference and a very big impact.